He's raced against, and more than measured up to, riders like Kenny Roberts and Freddie Spencer, and even in his final year of racing has bested Schwantz, Rainey and Kaczynski when the chance arose. Like all the current crop of 500 front runners, Eddie Lawson started racing young. He won his first big title, the Western Region 750 Championship, before he was 20. It was the launch pad for a career that was meteoric by any standards. In 1981 and 82, he was AMA Superbike champion on a Kawasaki, following the now traditional route for the top exponents of 500 Grand Prix, a training ground that has produced riders like Rainey, Schwantz and Chandler, completely disproving the early days theory that riding the heavy 750s ruined your finesse on the Grand Prix bikes. He tasted Grand Prix in 1981, riding a 250 at Hockenheim, a debut less auspicious than his Daytona victory that year, a second successive 100 lightweight win. In the wake of another ex-dirt tracker, Kenny Roberts, Eddie Lawson was possibly the first of the thinking riders. The nickname of Steady Eddie arrived early and stuck, and he lived up to it year after year. 1983 was Eddie Lawson's first season of 500 Grand Prix racing, by which time he'd switched from Kawasaki back to Yamaha, who'd given him that first Western Region title. He finished a creditable fourth in the points table, but it was only the beginning. For the next six years, Steady Eddie was never out of the top three finishers in the championship and collected four world titles in 84, 86, 88 and 89. But though he was steady on track, Lawson was withdrawn and private away from it, accepting only occasional invitations to share his thoughts, or in this case, his brand new California home with the media. At the start of the 1991 racing season, Eddie Lawson announced he'd retire at the end of 1992. He was, he claimed, fed up with airports, rental cars and hotel rooms.